Hey guys, what's up? So today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to get the iOS 4 dock on an iDevice such as my first generation iPod Touch or the iPhone 2G which is also a non-iOS iOS 4 supported device. So first of all I'll show you the comparison shots. Um, on the right here is my sister's second generation iPod Touch. I'll try to get better shots of these later but you can see that they're looking pretty good and they look pretty identical. Now you guys may recall that if you're on 3.1.3 which is what this is on my iPod Touch that the dock at the bottom is a metal grill and some of you may not like that so I'm going to teach you how to get this dock to look like that. So we're going to take this out of the picture and first and foremost you're going to need to have a jailbroken iPod or iPhone you're going to launch Cydia and this tweak is from the Big Boss repository which is a community source so it should already be added so you don't need to add anything which is nice so what you're going to do, you're going to search and you're going to look up uh, um, OS 3.2 and 4.0 theme so it's going to be the first one there I don't know why I just did that, but scroll down until you find it, and then you're going to install it. Now, what this does is it obviously makes the dock look how it does. And if you let this load, and well, when you first um, look at it, it'll say that you, you should download this with another tweak, and that tweak is Reflective Dock. So after you install this, I think it's going to ask you to respring. So you're going to do that and then go back into Cydia. And then you're going to look up Ref Reflective Dock. So just type in that. And it's right there. So then you install this as well. And since I already have both of these installed, I don't have to install it again. But you're going to install both of these. And then you're going to quit. I believe after you install the reflective dock, it'll ask you to respring again. And then your dock will look like this. However, if you look at the reflections in the dock, they, um, by default, they are not exactly um, fit to look like this. They look a little darker and they look just a little bit um, longer than they should. So you're, you're going to go into your settings and then there should be a new tab called Reflective Dock. So tap that, and then here you have everything, all the things you need for that. And I'm going to read off these um, settings, I guess. You want Reflective Dock icons on, uh, Reflective App icons, that just makes all the other Springboard um, apps reflective, which I don't particularly like, but if you want, you can do that. Use Gradient, yes. You don't have that on. The opacity should be 0.3. Reflection gap should be 0.2, reflection length factor is 0.5, and horizontal shift 0.5. And obviously these are pretty self-explanatory as to what these do. But that's what I have mine setting as, and they look pretty much identical to this iPod's um, dock. So after you do that, I'm pretty sure you don't have to respring right away. Actually, you don't have to at all. It updates live. And then you have this. Again, I'll take screenshots of these or try to get macros of these so you can see them better, but the comparison shots side to side, they look pretty darn good. Um, even the little curve you can see is the same. The only thing that's a little different is that the labels at the bottom, like this says Facebook Mail, says Party Music, are a little bit lower on the screen than it does on this one, which is, you know, the native iOS 4 operating system. And I don't know how to fix that yet, but if you guys do know, uh, please tell me. And so, yeah, that's pretty much how you can get the iOS 4 dock image or a mock up, the closest one I could find, um, on an iPod Touch first generation or uh, the original iPhone.